We are in the thick of fall, we are in the thick of all things fall fashion and in today's video I'm going to be going over some fashion items and pieces that are completely out of style and I'm going to recommend what to wear or what to style instead. Let's do this. Okay, so first up we have these type of ankle boots. Yes these ones are so out of style they were probably like 2012 2013 2014 maybe 2015 and they're so out of style they date a look in a fashion sense and just doesn't really make the look look polished or classy so instead of wearing these types of boots i'm going to recommend that we still play around with the ankle boots but we're going to pay attention to the shaft height and the shape of the shoes. Now there's so many boots out there on the market and it's important to pick out and find shoes, boots that matches your style. Now you have to consider, do you have wide feet? Do you have narrow feet? Do you have average feet? Do you have skinny ankles? Do you have average ankles? Or do you have thicker ankles? That will help you decide what type of ankle boots you need and what would look better on you. Pay attention to square toe, pointy toe, what makes you feel and look better for me in the classy space and a classy outfit. I love any kind of boots that have more of a pointy toe, but of course I can't fill my closet with just pointy toe. But I also like the structured, really rich and kind of like uh, bold in your face square toe, but it's still beautiful and gorgeous. And sometimes a semi round between that round, but then it's all depend on your preference. All of these can really put together classy style and classy outfits, but it depends on your preference. Also the shaft width. Now do you have skinny ankles? Now I have skinny ankles, so for a low boot, I would prefer more of a tight ankle. There's also mid-size ankle and there's larger size ankle. That way you know what you're shopping for, you know what you're looking for, and you have the option to update your style and add pieces to your closet that are timeless and classy. Now next up we have the plaid uh, flannel shirts. So they're more of like your planet <laughs> flannel. <laughs> they're more of like your plaid flannel shirts. Those ones that we all reach for in the fall. Again super dated. I've worn them. You've worn them. We loved them. It's time to let them go and fly on out like birds. Okay. It's time to let them go out of our classy wardrobes and to replace that what we can do is replace them with like your chic structured beautiful white button down shirt or other color variations that might be your preference i say white button down but because white button down shirt is trending this fall as a top fall 2023 fashion trend and it's a very classy and timeless trend so a white button down shirt absolutely if you want to play around add different colors to your closet then absolutely worth it anything except the flannel plaid button down shirt they're just outdated they don't help you build a classy outfit they don't make you look polished put together so definitely up for more of your solid white button down it could be black button down it could be like brown whatever color that your preference is I would absolutely recommend that you move over to that now in that same space of the plaid if you're really into your prints and you want your prints I would recommend you go right into jackets or blazers and you kind of like stick to those rich beautiful plaids that just look fabulous and amazing something that you could throw over any time like a black t-shirt like I'm wearing a black t-shirt right now from Madewell and this jacket is from H&M if you haven't seen my recent H&M haul I featured this jacket from H&M it's a beautiful plaid kind of like a houndstoot with color so you could definitely mix with those plaids you could find like houndstoot you could play around with the variations of the sizes of the jackets or blazers it could be a cropped it could be one that just falls right at the top of your waist it could be long ones whatever your preference is especially based on what you have in your closet then you could absolutely replace the flannel plaid shirt for something so much more fabulous so much more classy and beautiful moving on we have the sweater dress the quintessential that used to be and should stay in the used to be realm quintessential sweater dress they're usually more on like the mini side or maybe a little bit like lengthier than a mini and they're usually like just straight, no cut or style or anything to them. And we loved wearing them with our over the knee boots. I know it, you know it, we did. Now it's time to move on. There's so many other gorgeous sweater dresses that are just classy and just chef kiss. That will make us look even more fabulous. 
So instead of sticking to those that we're used to, that we used to wear, we're gonna merge right on over and we're gonna move into more of the midi and maxi sweater dresses. I kid you not, a maxi sweater dress is just so fabulous. We're also gonna pay attention to the silhouette and also the fabric. So we're gonna go for our wools or cashmeres, just something that makes the fabric look a little bit more luxe cotton like really good rich cotton because sometimes with the sweater dresses if it's a little bit too flimsy it can come off really cheap looking and therefore it makes your outfit don't look really classy so pay attention to that does it look rich does it look expensive and i'm not saying that in terms of like uh monetarily i'm more saying it in in terms of how it would look on you does it look bold maybe that's a better word does it look bold and beautiful or a fabric that you know when it sits on your body it is just gonna say you know and it doesn't always have to be like those super high-end fabrics or anything like that it can be mixes too but the thing is the visual of it does it look like that so here are some examples of gorgeous maxi midi pieces that you can style with boots with flats with sandals if you're going out and dressing up and the weather calls for it that you're okay and can style that. These are some great options that you can switch out the outdated sweater dress to these fabulous and classy ones that you can also belt and scarf and make it look beautiful and wonderful. So hi, I'm Kima. Welcome to my channel. My channel focuses on classy, everyday wearable fashion for the average woman who wants to look fabulous, timeless, classy. If you're into that or you're looking to elevate your closet there or that's your style, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. Let's become friends, hang around. And as always, my comment section is open for any comments or questions you may have. Let's move on to the rest of the updated pieces and what we're gonna replace them with. All right, so the next one is these plaid scarves that I have owned, loved. <laughs> So much they're more kind of like your it's like the quintessential fall scarf and they were great for a while but we are gonna elevate we're gonna elevate out of these types of scarves and we are gonna go for some gorgeous beautiful wool scarves we're gonna go for like the woven scarves the crochet scarves cashmere scarves so we're gonna move on to prints that are a little bit more stylish and a little bit more timeless so prints that aren't too fussy don't are not super noticeable or super something that you can just pinpoint like oh that's for that or that's for that because we want it to be timeless and when we can pinpoint fashion most times to certain era style and things then it makes it shift and it makes it not really a timeless piece so what we're gonna do is just switch on over to these beautiful scars. My recommendation is that we keep it more earth tone. Your beiges, your creams, your browns, your khakis, your sage greens, those colors, your burgundies, more of those colors that will forever just always look so polished, always look so classy in our wardrobe, styling them beautifully, keeping us warm, but also making us look good and beautiful prints that you know that you know it's good visually to see it's not too fussy you can't really dictate when this print was made or or when it was trending or when it was in style and this will help your wardrobe feel so much more classy and so much more timeless moving on we have the floppy hats yes the floppy hats they make their way in when it's fall sometimes you'll see them in the summer too but for some reason they are such a fall staple in many of our wardrobes and closets and it's time to let them go and it's time to upgrade the floppy hats and we're gonna upgrade them to some more polished structured looking hats that are just timeless so we're gonna go for our fedoras we're gonna go for our rancher hats we're gonna go for our paper boy hats we're gonna go for those ones that seem to have a little bit more structure around them I feel like the floppy hats are just a little bit sloppy. Hmm, that rhymed. The floppy hats are a little bit sloppy. They don't polish you off enough or make you look super put together. You could have on the most fabulous outfit, gorgeous, beautiful, just lovely. And then you put a, <laughs> I'm gonna say a sloppy hat. And then you put a floppy hat on and it takes away completely 
from the outfit. So we're going to stick to more of our structured hats, those wide brims fedoras. Ah, just super polished. And I love the paperboy option hats and paperboy would more be like a cap. I would love, I love those options more for especially if you're putting together a super casual look but you wanted to put on a hat because you know, might have a bad hair day. Mine are usually bad hair days. And, or some people just genuinely love hats. And you want to still look polished, classy, timeless, fabulous, all of those wonderful things, then definitely stick to more of these options for hats as opposed to the floppy hats. Moving right along are cardigans, but not all cardigans. I'm more talking about the ones that they call shrug. Those ones, I didn't even know they were called shrug. I was doing the research and I was like, do these cardigans have a name? They are called shrug. And the shrug cardigans, my gosh, those are so outdated. They just don't look good anymore, especially when we have so many other options to look fabulous. Now, the shrug cardigans, they also the boleros, like the little boleros, and they're usually so thin, and they make you just look flat, no interest or oomph to the look, to how you look, plain and dull. But we don't want that. We're in fall. Fall is one of the best seasons to be fashionably inclined, in my opinion. And so we're going to switch out those shrugs and boleros for more of like thicker, more structured, more beautiful cardigans that just look so cozy. Think about a cardigan, someone having on a cardigan. And the cardigan just makes you want to hug them if you're a hugger I'm a big hugger you just want to hug them because the cardigan literally I kid you not I will see people in cardigans and I'm like I just want to hug her because I want some of that coziness right so think about those and then you have different styles of cardigans too that you can buy into or buy purchase for your closet or if you have them to pull them out like the boyfriend cardigans are more of those boxy cardigans usually they have like bigger buttons and they're, they, they don't have necessarily a shape but can still really be classy. You can wear those boxier cardigans with more fitted straight jeans and like ballet flats or boots, those boots we talked about in, at the beginning of the video. So there's so many options that you can style like the boyfriend cardigan to look fabulous, classy and chic, especially if your style leans to more of a classy, casual style. Okay, so Cardigans are the cousins of maxi coats and if you haven't seen my fall 2023 fashion trend video where I talked about um, maxi coat being a top classy fall fashion trend then you can check it out after this video. I also have a slew of fashion trend videos, try-ons, um, styling videos where you can check out me styling some of the maxi cardigans or a maxi cardigan or two in my other videos. So check out my other fall fashion videos and fall related videos once you're done with this video. Now for the maxi cardigans, switching out those shrugs, switching out those boleros, switching out those thin lightweight looking ones that look so cheap to your maxi ones that are just so fabulous. It could be knitted. Those are beautiful too. It could also be like your cable cardigan. Those oversized long cable cardigan could look so fabulous and classy on like a a, a spaghetti sweater maxi dress and just throw it over there effortlessly put on like a rancher hat or a fedora paper boy like I mentioned before I'm putting all these pieces together because it's not that hard to really look polished and really look gorgeous and beautiful so definitely we're gonna step up our cardigan game not just to only keep us cozy which is the main function but we're also gonna look nice while doing it and you can also go into the cardigans that are a little bit more structured but more structured dressy so we have the structured boyfriends and we have the structured dressy and those ones are the ones that more would probably almost look like a jacket but it is quite a jacket it is a cardigan but just looks so polished they usually have like big gold buttons beautiful buttons on them that just brings an outfit together so nicely and so fabulous so many ways um to upgrade from these outdated pieces and style them with more current pieces that not aren't only current but pieces that will and can be easily be timeless in the future so that's it a couple of fall items that i know 
we all love, we all adore, we all see people wear, we've worn before, that are really out of style and I hope uh, my recommendations of the ones that are more in style and not only in style but can be timeless in the future are something that made sense to you and might be of help to your closet. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, recommendations, or comments, please leave them down below in the comment section. Take care. Bye.